waters of the Pacific Northwest are key to the economies and cultures of coastal communities. But when a range of factors cause marine heat waves, periods of unusually warm temperatures, the marine life in those waters can be threatened, something that Nick Bond, the state climatologist at UW, has studied. These heat waves um, impact uh, the, the whole ocean ecosystem, mostly uh, what we, uh, the way we talk about it is from the bottom up. It impacts the, the plankton out there, and in particular, the zooplankton, the little bugs that are such a key part of the food chain. These photos show sea lions that were stranded after foraging further from their homes for food during the marine heat wave from 2014 to 2015. Newly published research asked whether we can predict these marine heat waves, allowing coastal communities and fisheries to prepare. In a lot of cases, we can predict marine heat waves and we can predict them months in advance with pretty high confidence. Um, there are big uh, differences across the globe in how well we can predict them. But um, there are areas like along the U.S. West Coast off the Pacific Northwest where the um, accuracy of these forecasts is actually quite high where we can predict marine heat waves um, months in advance, you know, six months or more in advance in a lot of cases. NOAA scientists say they used global climate models that included ocean temperatures in their assessment. And this sets the stage for us to be able to respond to marine heat waves that are coming before they arrive. And I'm really excited both because it uh, allows for potential economic savings, but also just kind of health and human environment interaction savings. Um, if we can predict these things before they arrive. The current heat wave appears pretty far offshore, but others could be closer, and knowing more about their impact could help our region protect and prepare. In Seattle, Erica Zuko, King 5 News.